in the Calabazon region of the Philippines, the Taal volcano has turned the landscape monochrome. Whole villages are blanketed in thick layers of volcanic ash, and formerly lush plantations have been left unrecognizable. Jack Imperial has farmed pineapple for 17 years. He says he's never seen such devastation. The pineapples were all covered by thick mud. We can't use them anymore. Imperial has a small stall at a local market and makes a living by selling pineapples to tourists. Not this year. Almost all his crops are ruined. Even if we were able to harvest some pineapples for sale, if customers are scared to come because of the eruption, the pineapples will just end up rotting. An estimated 3,000 hectares of land has been affected by ashfall in Calabazon, and the agricultural damage has already exceeded 10 million euros. Experts say that in the long term, the volcanic ash will help replenish the soil, making it more fertile in the future. But before that, farmers like Jack Imperial will have to survive the huge losses caused by destroyed crops. Authorities are warning that a massive eruption could happen at any time. The volcano is about 70 kilometers south of the capital, Manila, in the middle of a lake. It started to expel ash on Sunday. Well, rescue teams have been working around the clock to get people to safety. DW's Ana Santos has joined one of the missions. Clouds of ash cover this road in Batangas region, but still the rescuers press on. Determined to drive those trapped in this volcanic danger zone to safety. We are doing rescue operations to evacuate people to higher ground. We've rescued a couple of people already this morning. We're moving to another town to rescue more. The Tal volcano has been billowing smoke and ash since its eruption on Sunday. It lies in the middle of a lake just over 60 kilometers south of the Philippine capital, Manila. Although these Filipinos don't live on the volcanic island, they are still in danger. Ashfall and the likelihood of more eruptions are making evacuations here mandatory. Others, like Claire and her sisters, are choosing to get out while they can. We decided to evacuate today because we heard that things may get worse with the volcano. The safest thing to do is to leave. Some areas are too difficult to reach by truck, so these rescuers use motorbikes to collect the locals. It doesn't matter how they find them, they simply know they have to get people out of this region as quickly as possible. <laughs> 